In this short class I'll show you how to work with gradient tool and to show uh, possibilities that you can get from this basic Cinema 4D shader. Let's start from building our composition. I use Mograph Cloner, Dropping Sphere, going to Grid Array, some maybe 4 in uh, height. Selecting cloner, going to Mograph Effector, we go into scale, maybe 0.5, then rotation, 360, 360, and 360. And now you don't see and you can't see is it rotated or not. We go into display, hidden line, and now you see the rotation. And we apply rigid body, all elements, force set 5.5 five. and now when we hit play they will push from each other and create something like this create camera look from camera 0 0 0 0 this kind of thing going to 1 Two eight zero. That's square composition. Normal lens. So, like this, when we render, we don't see nothing. We create some area light. Going to general area light details. Fall off inverse square. Rotate. Move up. I use hotkeys. E for move, R for rotate, T for scale. Move it in front and I'll create big area light showing in reflection, create base material, remove default specular, add backman, some roughness and Layer Fresnel, the electric and preset, for example, PET. This is kind of plastic. So let's create something dark for checking. Maximize this viewport, hit render. And we'll see kind of like this. I want to lower the roughness. You'll see these dots go into light and hit add grain slow now we have smooth reflection and these dots i think this caused by low quality in sampling i changed standard to physical because it's easier for me to set go into automatic set 3 to 10 the lower this quality the the lower this stuff the higher of quality will get so five it's ultra great quality 30 low quality so i recommend to use 10 and we have blurriness and shadows i up it a bit and going here and change quick preview to all modes hit render and now we'll see very clean result I lower the roughness to 7, re-render, scale up plane, area light, move it up, move it front, render. I'll keep this setup and we can go to the next step with using gradient. Now we're going to work with our gradient and for this I'll hit interactive render region for having instance view of what we get and I'll check and change color to almost black.
you'll see that reflectance set roughness to 7 maybe we going and create another material duplicate sphere so I create a lot of spheres here and relaunch the simulation go into color go into texture go into gradient you'll see that we get immediate response go into gradient go into gradient and set it in position to none distribute knots and now we have kind of black and white gradient this is very basic create another one duplicate duplicate and now we have strips and we can change the direction for example on V vertical now we duplicate once again to another so create five few more elements and material going here relaunch simulation change to diagonal and in sphere we have this spiral stuff let me array a set to another sphere so it will be more visible i think this is it let's change to red oh here yes and now you'll see that we have some variation but i'd like to go to colorize and change color here so maybe to this purple now i duplicate gradient once again assign to the new sphere going to radial to circular and you'll see that every time we change our type we have different results i'd like to rearrange these stripes maybe to this and you'll get new design and this is very handy in use and of course you can add turbulence to this and create distorted lines but i keep turbulence zero reset of gradient going to interpolation set to none 